Hello and welcome to this Landworks CAD tutorial. In this video, I will show you how to insert a Google Map image in Landworks. The first thing we have to do is to browse Google Maps or Google Earth and select the portion of the map that we would like to use in Landworks. I would recommend to use the snipping tool if you are using Windows 7 to select a portion of the screen and save that as an image file in your computer. We type in a file name. We leave the file extension as it is, JPEG would be best, and click on Save. The next step will be to go to Landworks and then use the text and bitmap commands insert bitmap by one point, browse to the right folder where the image file is stored, making sure that the file extension is the appropriate one, click open and then we press the enter key to locate the position on the x0, y0 axis. Now as you can see on the screen that image doesn't look quite right we need to go under the options, bitmap options, and check the original shape checkbox. That will ensure that the image file won't lose its proportion. We click on the command again, insert bitmap by one point, open that image, press the enter key, and now we got our image file in our Landworks CAD drawing. Now that we have our image in place, we need to make sure that the scale is right. In order to do that, I will draw two points. The first one right there, the other one at the end of that road. And then I will see exactly what the distance is between these two points by drawing a straight line. Double clicking on that line will bring up some properties. And as we can see, the length is just only 10 millimeters. So basically what we have to do now is to resize or rescale that image by selecting that image first, then go to the transform commands, click on scale entities, select two points and length. Now let's say that length is 480 meters, the number of copies zero, and then we click OK. Then Landworks will ask to click on the start of the line. So we click on that first point that I drew earlier then I click the end of that line on that second point. I press the Enter key as the center of the operation. And now, if we zoom out enough, we will see that that image has been increased in size. The best way for us to check that that distance is the right one is just by drawing a line again between these two points and then we'll double click on that line and see that the length is 480 meters. And that's all for today. Thank you very much for watching. Don't forget to visit our website www.cat.com.au for more CAD software support and training.